Lita Expressway. 6.44 here on Asia First. Now here's a question that you should pass with flying colours, Yasmin. When I say New York, London, what do you think of? Good universities, tourists and lots of booze. Okay, you fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Broadway, uh-huh. musicals, West End. shows, the West End, yeah. Mm. But let's bring it closer to home, mm. right? Uh, we've been seeing more musicals lately, like Aladdin, Phantom of the Opera, The Lion King. And can I just say yes. that these three huge names that you've just mentioned uh-huh. performed in the last sort of three months here in Is Singapore. That right? That's incredible. It is. Yeah. 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 So it's been a musical extravaganza here, which also got me thinking, can we consider it to be the Broadway of Asia? Yes, I think so. You think so? Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have uh, a very special guest this morning. Her name is Chantelle, Chantelle Prudhomme, Prudhomme, right? I got that right. Okay. It's a difficult name. She is the CEO of Base Entertainment Asia. And she joins us to help us answer the question, are we truly the uh, Broadway of Asia? Are we, Chantal? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, like we say, right? You see all the beautiful musicals that we've been bringing here. Mm-hmm. And that it means that there's a demand and, uh, and that we're doing well. Okay. So I agree. So, so what did New York do? Are we doing something similar? <laughs> Are we doing it differently to attract all these musicals in, in recent months? And also, I, I, I assume in the months ahead as well. Absolutely. Look, we are. It's the same. It's, you know, Singapore is just such a great cosmopolitan city. And Singaporeans and the people living here, the the long, you know, residents of Singapore, like myself, have been here almost 20 years. They want these shows. It's not always easy to travel all the way to New York to see them or to go to the West End. Or maybe you've been, but you want to see them again and you want exactly what the West End and Broadway would offer. Mm. And that's what we pride ourselves with, doing exactly the same show. So let me, let me, okay, that's a very good point I, want, I wanted yeah. to ask, you know, as, as an ignorant uh, plebeian here. <laughs> you know, other shows you get in New York, mm-hmm. really the same show you would get here when they come here. Yes, if they're the big musicals, yep. absolutely. Because you see, we don't, we don't produce them, we take them over, we presenters. Right. So we take them as a whole and we bring them here. I see. Mm. Okay, that's very interesting. So that less of a plebeian now. No, less. I'm educated in, in one aspect. But certainly. I want to go back to the question yeah. that you asked mm. earlier, which we haven't quite addressed. What did New York or London do right mm-hmm. to achieve that status to be the theatre uh, destination, yeah. really? And, and how do you think Singapore can get there? Look, New York, it's been years and years. I think it's 160 years of musicals in New York. Okay, we have a long way you to know, go exactly. now. I'm afraid now. I We're mean, not going to get there, are we? No, but <laughs> oh, it's been... Uh, I was looking at Singapore. I mean, I think, you know, we go back about uh, maybe 30 years of musicals mm-hmm. or 20 years of musicals. So it's a long way to go, but it's going in the right direction. Okay. It, I think, you know, Singapore has embraced musicals. It has been a very short period of time, and already we see you're getting the best already in such okay. a short period of time. So, so, so how it. long, how long before we reach that level, or near that level? Look, I think we're there with, the, in terms of the type of content that we bring here, are we here? It's happening already. Um, look, there's 360 million million people living in the U.S. with six million here in Singapore. So, um, you know, we won't be able to have them like New York has them sitting down for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. We need to have shorter seasons here. We certainly get the same content. So to me, it feels like Singapore is the Broadway of Asia already. Nice to hear that. Chantal Prudhomme is the CEO of Base Entertainment Asia. Okay, Chantal, um, other than Singapore, uh, New York, London, what are the other cities that are synonymous with musicals? And maybe those that are just around the region that would be the closest competitor to us. Well, of course, you've got Australia. Uh-huh. Australia is a big musical, a country with a lot of musicals. And around us, you'll have the Philippines, mm-hmm. yep. Hong Kong, are two you know, important countries where, mm. where y- the musicals go. So mm-hmm. I don't think that they're the biggest All around right. here.
Okay. And, and, so, and Korea, yeah, of course. I'm thinking ahead. that yeah. talent wise, if you were in New York or if you were in London, you would get sort of a lot of locals be part of the whole production. But what about here in Singapore? We're more importing, you think? Well, uh, interesting question. When it comes to talent on stage, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we certainly import more. Um, like I said earlier, Arnold, uh, we, we take the show as a whole. Mm -hmm. So we bring the show here completely ready. Okay. So, but having said that, often we'll, we'll audition for a role, a particular role. If you remember with Matilda, we had a lovely young girl right. who played Matilda. Sophia Poston was on, on the show. Um, for Sound of Music, mm -hmm. all the children were local kids. Um, Annie. So whenever we can, we do, and I love that. We do a lot of musical theater workshops in our theater. We do offer op opportunities at how I f you know when we can right. but having said that behind the scenes is a, is a big show too and I would say 80% plus of our crew is local 80% right. plus of our musicians are local Okay. my team is 90% local right. so that but that's, counts. A, that's important right mm. I mean it, it counts and it makes the show a little bit closer to the audience I assume I mean I, I don't know for sure who makes up the audience uh, here in Singapore is it mostly visitors is it Singaporeans, PRs? Do you have the numbers to break it down? It's mostly Singaporean and really? PRs. I mean, it's more than 80%, um, absolutely, which was quite an, a, a great, lovely surprise when we started bringing the musicals over. Uh, a bit of uh, tourists, mm -hmm. um, but not as much. Right. Uh, people... Um, Hopefully, I hope that that's the area that will, will continue to grow. That okay. would be great. That's, that's where right. the Chantal, we'll come back with more on this and why, why we're the Broadway of Asia in a few moments from now. We'll just have to get our listeners updated with the traffic situation. So just hold on. I think he just wants Yasmin to get into work. Yeah, yeah, he's been sitting there <laughs> you know, doing nothing for too long. Exactly, yet, just quiet, <laughs> smiling away, enjoying my morning. A vehicle's broken down on Central Expressway. This is at Jalan Bukit Mera entrance in the direction of the SLE. We'll keep this one short and sweet. Keep moving with LTA traffic. Keep our roads safe. Avoid using your phone while you drive. All right, let's get back to this conversation about uh, how we're the Broadway of uh, Singapore. Chantelle Prudhomme is our guest. She is the CEO of Base Entertainment Asia. We were talking about how most of uh, the audience here is, uh, are Singaporean, right? Um, but don't we make an effort to compete? Or is this like uh, music acts which come through Asia and do an Asian tour? Or are you competing more with Australia and the Philippines and Hong Kong? Look, I don't feel like we're competing with Australia, not at all. Um, uh, in terms of bringing tourists here, look, the, m a lot of the time the musicals would travel in a region. But um, if you take Aladdin, for instance, mm -hmm. the show that we currently have now is only a one stop. Yep. One stop Just only, Singapore. And it's Singapore. Mm -hmm. And that's incredible. And, and it, it does make a difference, of course, in terms of being able to promote it outside of Singapore and try to attract people to come and see the show. And mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, we do. There's, there's definitely other countries in the region right. where the shows go, not always. Um, and it's purely because if a musical will come all the way to Asia, it's got to be worth it. Mm -hmm. We can't have the musicals for years on end. Right. So we work closely with our fellow, uh, you know, producers mm -hmm. or presenters in the region to, to, to try to sync it and have it at the same time right. so we can all benefit from a show. Otherwise, it's, it, it's, it's really expensive. To yeah. Shows mm. In general, how far ahead do you normally work in terms of booking shows? Like now you've got Aladdin. Do you already know what three shows down the road will be? Oh, I, I already know what probably two years will look like. Really? Goodness. Wow. We okay. have you have the schedule for 2021 already? 21, 22. I've got my calendar. I've got the Can schedule. Can we get a sneak preview oh. of anything that's coming <laughs> up? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. Uh. But, but generally, you work very, very far ahead because I guess the timelines are really quite long, aren't they, in production? That's right. You have to work far in advance as well because it takes years to prepare for these things. Mm -hmm. so you've got to make sure that there will be a show available, yep. uh, that, they will, that they will be willing to come all the way here. Mm -hmm. 
we 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 travel with 10 20 30 containers on the sea so we've got to plan all of that it's right. got to be there ready uh, it, is, it has to be at the right time and you obviously do your market research that you're very confident that these shows will be in demand and will sell when exactly. they eventually get here exactly yeah? mm-hmm. exactly you know i'm going to leave the question about numbers and figures to arnold but first um i know you are the resident developer producer programmer and manager of live entertainment at the Sands Theatre at Marina Bay Sands. Can you tell us a little bit about um, locations for performances here in Singapore? Are we really just bound to MBS or do you find that certain productions work better in certain other places and are you willing to explore? Do you mean for Singapore? Yes, yes that's yes. right. Look, I think for us where we are with the Sands Theatre, the Marina Bay Sands, it just calls for the, the, the beautiful international music you know musicals mm-hmm. but you've got amazing other content in, in Singapore you know SRT does great things mm-hmm. Wild Rise does amazing and stuff. you do go to their locations oh, yes, and, yes, and, and, yes. and stage your performances there too oh no 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 we don't we don't we we I focus on the sense theater, okay right uh, because I focus on a large content the international mm-hmm. musicals but I do attend and, I, and there's a community right. and, and we support each other and but it's great what about this one yeah. size fits all kind of theatre though does it really work we have a, a big variety of content in our theatre mm-hmm. we do and we've had look we, we, we do receive content my focus myself my mm-hmm. focus is to produce I and mean, program the content in the Marina Bay Sands yes. yeah. but we often you will had, we had the, the Lee Kuan Yew musical right. a few years ago we opened up the doors to other sort mm-hmm. of contents local concerts yeah. and, and what not okay. but I my focus is the Marina uh, Bay Sands understood but I mean I want to ask you I, I presume we can't overstate the importance of having venues like Marina Bay Sands mm-hmm. as well as you know, on Sentosa, right? Mm-hmm. These are important mm-hmm. infrastructure projects which are very, very important in bringing shows, the big shows in from, from Broadway in, in America. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I, I agree. And I think, you know, I've been with, with the company now for nearly 10 years. And what has happened over the last 10 years is it really feels like all the, the, the different venues kind of settled into their own. Mm. And everybody has kind of their specialty, right. which feels right. So it has, it has a unique identity mm. almost, right? You know, you associate the big shows with certain venues mm. and the smaller ones, perhaps the niche ones with the smaller venues. Is that would, a fair statement would, to make? I would yeah? say yes, I okay. would think so. And, and it kind of works. And Arnold, I'm going to leave the ex- Expense yes. question to you. How much does it cost to bring in a big show? I knew you were going to ask me that <laughs> yes, question. <laughs> You're looking at Arnold. It's going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> and, and, and it's so difficult to answer because there's such a big range. Okay. But it, it's in the millions. Okay, it's, it's in the millions. It's in the millions. Okay, low and millions. Okay, just give it me a range. Go, yeah, as little as? Low to high. I mean, yeah. you know, to the... Yes. As little as one million to yeah, as much as 50 million? Oh, not, not, not so much. Not so much. Not okay. much, maybe, you know, around the... Eight, eight, mm. eight million mm. ones. I mean, okay. it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty million, maybe, if you bring Sarah Brightman <laughs> into Singapore. With Andrew Lloyd Webber and <laughs> something like that, yeah. But I know that Andrew Lloyd Webber gave his blessing uh, okay. when it came to the Phantom of the Opera here in Singapore, yeah. and he wrote a, a, a good luck to the cast card yes. that you stuck backstage. Right. Right. Lovely. So, so, final question, because we have just 30 seconds left. If you had one wish in mm. terms of making things better to bring in shows, what would it be for Singapore? Oh, I would love to be able to run them for a longer period. Ah, yes, okay. to have more people coming from the region and, mm-hmm. and whatnot. But yes, right. you, you might get your wish come true, Chantal. You never know. Yeah. You have to convert no. people like me. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Come. So, <laughs> she'll, Chantal, buy me the, she'll buy the ticket. Chantal, and I'll go. I will drag him <laughs> to the <laughs> theatre before the end of 2019. We'll bring this man <laughs> <laughs> into <laughs> the world of musicals. He might start singing and dancing too. Oh, gosh. Come then I really want that. You really don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> come and see Aladdin before it goes. Okay, okay. It's All a right. good way All to right. start. We'd love that. Okay. The CEO of Base Entertainment Asia, Chantal Prudhomme, with us. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. Merci. Thank and you. please do return at some point. Good luck with the future. Thank okay. 657, looking uh, 